Peeny Butter Fudge by Toni Morrison and Slade Morrison. Hello, hello, hello to you. Hello to you and you and you and you and you. It's Friday and I'm very happy to see you. Do you notice that I often wear red sweatshirts or hoodies? I apparently like the color red quite a bit. Red brings sometimes a bit of brightness just by looking at it. It helps me to feel happy. It helps me to smile a little bit more, even on days when maybe I'm feeling a little bit gloomy or like there are clouds. Anyway, I hope that you love the color that you're wearing right now and that your favorite color or the color that you have on brings you comfort and joy. We're going to read a poem by Mr. Rogers first, and that poem is called Many Ways to Say I Love You. It's this very wonderful illustration. Looks like a... Uh, Looks like we might, we might have a family here and very happy, loving people serving food and eating food. Many ways to say I love you. There are many ways to say I love you. There are many ways to say I care about you. Many ways, many ways, many ways to say I love you. There's the cooking way to say I love you. There's the cooking something someone really likes to eat. That's what that person did. The cooking way, the cooking way, the cooking way to say I love you. And then there's the eating way to say I love you. There's the eating something someone made especially. The eating way, the eating way, the eating way to say I love you. Cleaning up a room can say I love you. Hanging up a coat before you're asked to. Drawing special pictures for the holidays and making plays. There are many ways to say, I love you. Just by being there when things are sad and scary. Just by being there. Being there. Being there to say, I love you. You'll find many ways to say, I love you. You'll find many ways to understand what love is. Many ways, many ways, many ways to say I love you. Cooking, eating, cleaning, drawing, playing, being, understanding. Love you. And we're going to read a book today about so many wonderful ways uh, to say, to express, and to feel I love you. Written by two wonderful authors, Toni Morrison and Slade Morrison, and illustrated by Joe Cepeda. You can already see all of these beautiful colors, and the illustrations are so joyful. And um, I just smile looking at the smiles of all of these wonderful people in the illustration, yeah? Let's read Peeny Butter Fudge. By the way, Peeny Butter Fudge looks delicious, does it not? Looks like the family is driving somewhere. Aha! So I see a mommy has brought three children to stay with grandma. And on the refrigerator, we see mom's instructions, 12 o'clock, lunch, peas, carrot sticks, fish fingers, 115, nap, 225, playground, 4 o'clock, television, 5 o'clock, dinner, hot dogs, macaroni and cheese, that sounds delicious, 630, bath, 715, snack, granola bar, 730, bed, I will be back at bedtime. Love, Mommy. Mommy has a whole plan 
so that grandma can follow the plan and the children can follow the plan. I wonder if they will follow the plan. There's a lovely cat. I quite like that cat. Snuggle, snuggle, time to rest. Nana joins us in her nest. Nap time, nap time is not so long when Nana sings a sleepy song. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep, little... Oh, looky, look, looky, look. We get to read a storybook. Fairies, dragons everywhere, creepy things under the stairs. Pots of gold, a laughing mouse, a peppermint chimney on a house. Hmm. A laughing mouse and a peppermint chimney and a dragon and something under the stairs and over here pots of gold. My goodness, those stories sound wonderful that they're reading. <laughs> hurry, hurry, hop in the car. Let's go fast, let's go far. All around, up and down, Nana takes us through the town. They're having a potato sack race. Have you ever done a potato sack race or a pillowcase race? There's so much fun to step into the potato sack and then you hop, hop, hop. Oh, there's so much fun. It looks like they might be having lemonade as well. My goodness. I don't think they're following the, uh, the, um, the schedule, huh? Sometimes not following the schedule is just a beautiful and lovely thing. Yummy lummy, yummy lummy. So much happy in the tummy. Look at what our Nana made us. Biscuits, ham, and lemonade us. Those biscuits and that ham look so delicious. And then I see bread and fruits. Oh my goodness. I would love to be eating with Nana right now. Oh my goodness, Nana's sick. Help, find the doctor's kit. She's got a fever. Her face is hot. Get some water, pour a lot. Band-aids for her toes, band-aids for her nose. Doctor says you need a rest. Quiet while we check your chest. Be good, Nana. Take a vitamin pill. We'll make you well. You bet we will. Do you ever like to play doctor with your Nana or with your teacher? I know sometimes when I hang out in the pink classroom, Courtney, you really like to play doctor. And um, I always have to get my temperature taken. And then there are medicines and it often looks an awful lot like this when we're doing doctor. Interestingly enough, pink classroom and look at Nana's bed. She has a pink bed. I've never seen, ooh, and she has pink walls in her house, doesn't she? Hold my hand and swing around. Feel the rhythm in the ground. Lift your left foot, now your right. Shake your shoulders with all your might. They're dancing. See the record player? All of the pictures on the wall have become a bit crooked. <laughs> and the lamps on the table have become a bit crooked. And indeed, I remember back to that list. None of these things were on that list. But boy, everybody is finding so many ways to say I love you and to share love. Let's make the kitty cat. I've got one paw, I've got two. Here's his tail and his whiskers too. Here's his play toy, but it doesn't belong. The shape is right, but the color is wrong. Patience, patience, no need for haste. Every piece has its place. Do you quite enjoy building puzzles? What I'm thinking about now is being in the Violet Room and building puzzles with all of my friends in the Violet Room. That happens quite a bit, the puzzle building in the Violet Room. Speaking of Violet, 
Nana has the most beautiful violet and Kelly green shirt on. I hadn't realized that before. Look at her beautiful shirt that is violet and green. Oh, here comes a part I've been waiting for. Peeny butter fudge. Peeny butter fudge. Mommy's coming any minute. Quick, quick, let's begin it. Now, I believe it's peanut butter fudge, but sometimes when we're very young, we name things differently. So peeny butter, I imagine I might have said peeny butter when I was very young instead of peanut butter. Oh, it looks delicious, but they are making such a mess. See the mess, but in that mess, there's so much I love you. So much love in that face and in that face. Shh, don't tell, but I can't help it. This recipe's a family secret. Mix it, cook it, cool it, eat it. That's Nana telling the children. My mother taught me, and I taught yours. Don't ever forget how it's done, for you will have to pass it on. Nana is sharing an old family recipe with her grandchildren, just like she shared with her daughter, who is the mommy from the beginning. Do you have any special family recipes? I have a few. Chocolate chip cookies are one of the ones in my family. Tickety tock, tickety tock. Can we beat that big old clock? Peeny butter, peeny butter. Nana is the best grandmother. <sighs> she looks a bit nervous, and the cat does too, because Mama may be coming. <laughs> oh, let's see this. You see mommy's expression? She looks a little bit perhaps frustrated or exasperated. She's had a long day and everyone's looking at her and someone's even offering her a spoonful of peanut butter fudge. But look at the mess in the kitchen. And even the cat is trying to sneak into the freezer or thinking about getting that. And there's a hand print, a chocolatey hand print and chairs on the floor, the peanut butter fudge seems to have exploded all over the kitchen, but then mommy smells the fudge. And you can see coming from her head is a memory. What memory do you think that is? That's right. That child is her and her mother, of course, is Nana. You see, she's wearing very similar glasses. And everybody comes in for a wonderful hug. Give me a kiss. Give me a hug. Peeny butter. Peeny butter. Peeny butter fudge. I would really, really like to eat some of that peeny butter fudge. Oh, look at that. Slade Morrison. And I wonder if peanut butter fudge is a recipe from Tony and Slade Morrison. But at the very back, there is a recipe for peanut butter fudge. And it does say, please do not attempt this recipe without an adult helper. There are so many directions. But the ingredients include butter and milk and chocolate and sugar and vanilla and creamy peanut butter. My goodness, that sounds so delicious, doesn't it? Peeny butter fudge. As I told you, the one of the special recipes in my family is uh, it's a pineapple upside down cake. And you get this big, heavy, black cast iron skillet. Big, heavy pan. And you put round pieces of pineapple in the bottom. And then you put little red cherries in the middle of each of the holes. And then... Um, you uh, make the cake better and you pour it on top of the pan and then you pour in some of the pineapple juice and then you put the pan in the oven. And when it's all finished baking, you very carefully take it and when you flip it over, the top has become caramelized, like a little blackened and it's super sweet and sticky with the pineapple and the cherries. And my grandmother used to make that cake and then my mom knows how to make that cake. I know I know how to make that cake. And we also have in my house a really delicious recipe for chocolate chip cookies that Miss Becky calls no-nos. 
and that no-no recipe will get passed down as well. Anyway, Toni Morrison and Slade Morrison, Peeny Butter Fudge, so many ways to say I love you, to feel I love you, and of course me just being here reading these books with you is one way that I'm telling you how much I love you, and I look forward to seeing you again next week.